in this video we will take up a simple time value question in our question we have invested 1000 rupees at 12% per annum and the question is how much money will we have after 3 years of time so let's think of it what does these things mean 1000 rupees is invested right now what is it is it the pv it is invested at the rate of 12% and it is invested for 3 years. Before solving it, we will convert this question into a timeline. And this conversion into a timeline is more important than actually solving it. Because as you find that the complexity of question increases, you need to convert it into a timeline to get a sense of what the question is all about. So here is a line. Now we have been told that the money is invested for 3 years. So let's mark that on our timeline. So we have 0 and 3. Further rupees 1000 has been invested and that is as you know it is invested right now it's a present value. And what we have to find out is if it grows by 12% what is the future value. Let's mark these things on our timeline as well. So this is the question. What is the future value? Let us calculate it now using our Excel function. Is equal to future value. Now, as we type this, it is asking us for the information. The first thing that we are being asked for is the rate. Let's key in the rate 12% make sure to put the percent comma n per n per is in number of years out here that's 3 pmt we do not have any regular payment so that's 0 you could leave it blank as well but make sure to put another comma in that case present value is something being invested right now that's minus 1000 type makes sense only with the PMT without PMT type is sort of irrelevant so let's leave it out and click enter this is your answer so your thousand rupees invested at 12% per annum after three years will become 1404.93 or approximately 1405